Should have sound now. Uh, yeah, getting the kinks out that we were seeing yesterday. What's up, guys? I could do this view, or I could uh, do the overhead. Which one do you guys prefer? Hey, Mom Jay, how you doing? First, last. Sorry, Spence. Taters out. Actually, you were first. I thought that was 10 Spence coming in. Uh, if anybody, <coughs> I if you hear background of somebody else streaming, I'm watching some Super Goals and Ghosts at that. So you can watch along there, too, and do a multi-stream. If it becomes annoying, let me know. I can turn it off. Need these to be bright. <clears throat> Turn the game off when you're adjusting the uh, <laughs> adjusting stuff with the middle screwdriver. Oh, Need a thinner one. First view better. So we're just trying to squeeze these sockets a little bit to get it a tighter fit in there. You can also put a sandpaper in there and drill and move it around. It's still kind of a loose, loosey goosey fit. Let me try to get it tighter. And if it's really bad, you can put a dab of solder on the underneath and connect, uh, connect the very bottom where it's like the socket and then there's a little dab. Connect those two with solder and then it'll be like always on, basically grounding it out there. That's better. What were you cleaning with earlier? I haven't cleaned it yet. It's pretty clean. It's already really clean. Google glasses. I can do like Jack does and put it on my, uh, I could tape it to my hat. <laughs> That'd be pretty nauseating though. <laughs> if you guys want to see it, then I'll try. <laughs> I actually have a picture of me wearing Google glasses. Um, when they first came out, there's a there's a guy who always buys the newest tech at my work, and uh, I took a picture and I typed glass. I, I hashtag the glass hole, <laughs> and then like this like website that's like it's pro glass hole people wearing Google glass like reposted my photo. I'm like, uh, could you not repost my photo, please? It feels like there should be a light over here, but there's not. All right. 
post is really loose. So when you like <coughs> on these older games, they're uh, all the screw posts are tied into the wood. Um, if you just try to unscrew the, the cap on top, it'll unscrew the whole post. So what you have to do is you have to grip the. They always have like a nut right here that you can grip, and uh, so you can get it on. You can get the cap off. These are all loose. Uh, these, uh, this is the Pinball Life 100 package. It's really nice because, you know, you're not. Okay, those are, cool. that's a cool little under thing I haven't seen before. How old is this rubber? I'm going to try to change it on this rubber and see if that helps with the kick of the ball freaking flying out of there. That socket. Oh no. Okay. Just needs to be messed with. I need a little cup. Uh, there's only just little things uh, that's wrong with it. Nothing huge. It's so nice to have an overhead view. My face line up with that. So I can't see the laptop from here, which is the problem. <laughs> cool frisbee. Alright, so... Now I really, I used to have this, uh, this drill bit tool that uh, it was like a wire form brush, and I'd, I'd put it in here and clean the uh, clean the interior of the, the light sockets, and I can't find it anywhere. I see part of the problem with uh, that ball bouncing up. It looks like this gate right here is out of the wood. And they just put a nail underneath it, behind it, to, to make it not go back. So this is not a... It's giving away too much. As opposed to taking the hit and bouncing back. So that's not good. Often, like, I don't know, man more than 50% and something doesn't work right, it's because it's been rigged to work by a person or an operator.
How are you guys doing tonight, by the way? All right, tater salad. Later. Also helps uh, is like wiggling it under the play field where the socket is. So I'll come back for that one. Eh, might as well do it now. I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. I've heard that sound before on this game. All right, how are the balls held in? There is it. A good chance that the balls are gonna go flying out of here. Oh crap! These freaking. I forgot that they have this giant metal freaking thing in here. Let's see if I can get the balls up. Uh, how's it kick the balls up? Are the coils underneath the apron? Let's get the balls up first. I'll do that with a magnet tool. Yeah, they have like this. I'll just, maybe I can get it from this side. I'm just gonna plug the holes. <laughs> hey Jack, how you doing? Fix it! It's not broken. Just making it look pretty. You play all the sound effects it's supposed to. Look at like the over engineering of this freaking rack. I definitely don't want to drop a hundred light bulbs, which I almost just did. So glad we had to do a lot of things different because uh, patents. So like instead of like mounting their coils, mounting the diodes on the coils, they did like these diode rows. And they freaking suck. Because, like, you can get a short in there and then not know, like, or a diet out. And you're like, WTF. Yeah, you don't want the balls to freaking go flying when you lift the play field. What other machines I got? Here, I'll show you. Alrighty. So the socket that was acted up. Where was it? It was right here. Right underneath the drop targets, of course. Which is not going to be easy to get to. So we're going to have to lift it up higher. So for this, you have to pull out all the way. Isn't that a pleasant sound? Push it back slowly.
Flash Gordon's awesome. I've had that game forever. But do my neighbors hate me? No. I have concrete walls and they can't. I have my house. I have a house. There, you can see the pins overflowing into the kitchen. Normally, I don't have this this bank of four here. So yeah. The screech. The screech is real. All right. So it was this guy right here. The solder is good. But sometimes if you just like twist it and flick it, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. There's a lot of can movement. So with these bulbs, uh, the ground is on probably the base of the bulb and then the other connecting is on this tip and then the spring grounds it out and sends the voltage to the uh, to the tube so if you have like a shady one that's like not wanting to work that well you just gotta like move it around a little bit lift it twist it etc usually that will brighten it up because it's all it's doing is it's the the, the uh, it's just like rusty and it's not making a good metal contact there's a bulb in it now Still have a bulb in it. We can probably turn it on with it being on like this. Will be fine. What's up, cathode? Uh, thanks, mom. It's funny because like. With my Twitch streams, it's more like I'm going to do this stuff anyways, whether you guys watch or not. So it's cool that I'm able to have you guys watch. Because, I mean, I would have been at the Game of Thrones party regardless. And, like, when I played Pinball at the house and whatnot. All right, see, it's still... It's still not wanting to work that well. Now with gaming switches, you don't ever want to mess around. You don't want to adjust the switch when the game's on. You basically don't want to adjust the switch at all. Come on. Normally on Bally games, you can just pop this little thing that I've been talking about, and the game will, the lights will come right back on. Nice. Not on this. This isn't a big deal too, it's just a one light bulb. Sometimes it'll be like a wire short too. Yeah, whatever, we'll move on from that light bulb. Uh, what else? This guy looks burnt out. Yeah. Not burnt out, the same. Same stuff, just needs to be adjusted. <laughs> Interview with uh, Coast to Coast, cool. Add that shirt. I'm doing a dual stream. I'm watching somebody stream while you guys watch me stream. How does that work out? See? <laughs> watching somebody play Super Goals and Ghosts. <laughs> Which is Aquas underscore if you guys want to watch that as well. And I have it going on in the room. You guys get this far? Anywho. Alright. <clears throat> um, look for other light bulbs. 
see if there's any obvious uh, ones that are out as well. Looks pretty good so far. game doing with one of the drops too well there was what else was there I think it was fine right, this one probably just must not be on right now there was something oh I wanted to check to see if I had a Coil to pull down the drop targets, and it does not. So I thought yesterday the uh, that there was a coil for the drop targets on the left bank to be able to pull the uh, pull the, um, the two middles down, but the only coil that I'm seeing is this one coil just to reset it. If there was another coil, there'd be like another one like back here or there just to do the two uh, middle ones. So you just must have to, uh, you just must have to get it, knock them down before you're able to enter that, that valley. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I need to check the sound too. The screech coming up. Dreamception. <laughs> I haven't had enough whiskey to fight the camera. I haven't had any whiskey. And then there was the sound, which I'm going to try to push in on the uh, soundboard. Careful with these back glasses. <laughs> Turn the game off. All right, Jack. See you. wire which I don't know why <laughs> you always discover like hacks and stuff like that when you especially with these older pins I have no idea what's going on with that but I'm not gonna mess with it right now uh, so the soundboard is acting up uh, just because it's not playing a sound so we're gonna try to push on the ROMs make sure they're nice and in there see in the connector as well.
You don't want to reseat these Gottlieb ones too much because they're they're even worse than the Mullets connectors uh, for how many times they're supposed to be seated. They can be reseated. It's like really, it's a really bad design. It's almost like a JAMA edge. I also want to inspect the connector. This one looks like it's been, I'm gonna push that one further down in. It looks like it's been lifted a little bit. Real important in this uh, connector in these games too is these two right here. It's the, what connects the power driver and then the uh, CPU. Um, don't think there's a problem with it because then one of the coils wouldn't have worked. But often uh, to get this game to work right, you got to redo that connector or replace it. push on the, the socketed ROMs, the heat uh, dries them out, also transportation. Um. Hey, Snowboarder, how are you doing? Barbecue chicken and drinking beer. Sounds good, man. All right, let's see if we still get the same. Uh, we're still missing the same music. Spitting out a ball for some reason. You can also break stuff by trying to fix stuff. <laughs> but uh, you just have to realize that these are, whatever you do to it can be, usually be fixed. No sound. Ah, I don't like messing with these games. I don't like this this system of hardware. I had trouble with a Superman. 
What's wrong, game? Tell me. Let me fix you. Make sure no stress is being added by the door being open. Those displays will also tell you if there's like an error code going on. Oh yeah, we gotta fix that spinner too. I think this mechanism right here is just acting up. Right here. Somebody waxed it and didn't wipe off all the residue. here. Let's look at this uh, mechanism and see what's going on. Where'd you guys screw? Totally just dropped the screw, which I do a lot. Well, come on. The only bad thing about having these like terracotta floors is that you cannot see when you drop stuff at all. Tiny little thing too. It's tough to find that. <laughs> okay, so there's obviously like a jam going on here. See if it was that clog. What the fuck? There's a bus here, at least. 
Sounds all messed up though. How's that supposed to release the ball though? I'm really not happy about the sound being messed up. That coil's trying. I don't know. Maybe a wire got loose on it? Put this thing on there? Oh yeah, there's a magnet. Okay, so like an idiot. When I was <laughs> So what happened there? I feel dumb about this. Is that my little magnet from my reacher tool got stuck here and it was holding the balls here. So yeah, the the release mechanism's fine. But now we have to fix the sound. I'm seeing wax residue from whoever waxed it last. Like everywhere. Make sure the that mechanism still works fine. Yeah, it works fine. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'll just do the sound effects with my mouth for you guys. Ba -ba 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 Yeah, this left side drops, middle lamp is out. Left side drops. Fire. I don't see another light bulb there, is there? No. Let's try to um, get it to make that other sound, so. So let's do, try to get it to the other multi ball. Yeah, 
Yeah, spinning out balls just fine. When did the other music come? Oh, you're saying that light right there? Yeah. That light might be out. Yeah, so that light's out. Thank you. So those two lights light the two ball of multi ball. Okay, that was wrong. Actually, we haven't heard this music before. This might be like an instant two ball multi ball. I think it is actually. Yeah, okay, so that's some kind of bonus multi ball. And then it kills the kills the power of the flippers. Oh heck yeah, listen to that music. Alright, so the music's fully working now. So we just got light bulbs and the spinner now.
Uh, no cathode. There's no coil down there, so it's not supposed to do that. There's no additional coil. You have to have it. You can't use the same coil both ways. That light bulb doesn't work at all. <laughs> it's an 80A, uh, one, two, three, yeah, it looks like a seven digit. Memory drops on Panthera. Panthera is a really cool game, really pretty too. Playing Boskian, sweet. Yeah, I wanted to come out, but I freaking I set an alarm for eight, and then I woke up at ten thirty. So yeah, that was cool. I think it might be the little yellow one. I know it's bigger. Hmm. Where do my tools go? Oh, here they are. Well, these are not much different than the other one. Careful not to strip the plate, strip the wood. We need to tighten these down. They do need to be tightened down. shots. My friend Mike's a lot better at getting these spinners really dialed in. is better by far. Better than what? 
that should be that's facing a little bit down more. I don't think it would be as much of a problem. expensive spinner if I don't want to mess it up. Look at that, Bob. <laughs> yeah, I might, uh, I forgot who said it yesterday, but I might need to uh, take it off and uh, raise the height of the spinner. Oh, look, that's perfect now. Yeah, it was a UCNK. It's, I just lifted it by, you can lift it by a sixth of an inch. One sixteenth of an inch just manually by pushing it up. This looks a lot better now. So if I can't get the ball stuck by doing it slowly, it should be fine. some warped I would try to locate a new one if this was going to be my pin or might even try flattening that one That other post cap. <laughs> okay, it doesn't go all the way through. I think 
just had another bite piece that I'm missing now. Is this it? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely one of them. Where do I put the other piece? Flipper rubbers? Uh, no, I. Oh, yeah, I. That's right, I gotta redo the flipper rubbers. Oh, the freaking flippers blasted the heck. Now that you made me look at the flippers. Uh. You see this? It's broken right here. Let's see. Get a better view. That will have actually, believe it or not, that will actually affect uh, gameplay. It seems like the flipper is nice and strong. Um, but uh, yeah, I would change it out. if it's not like right here Titan orange Titan orange would actually look great I am pro Titan flippers flipper rubbers they feel more like the originals oh man now you make me want to get I don't know red would look good too though because red's going to tie in with uh, all the other stuff yeah, orange would definitely look dope. So where did I put that other piece, guys? That's my problem with like doing like late night like meeting streams is that I'm already pretty like forgetful-ish. <laughs> so if you combine that with me like starting to get a little tired, it's uh, not the best combo. And cathode, uh, I think I actually am out of flipper rubbers. My big bag of rubbers, I don't, I see one. Those white ones that were on there are super dead though. Yeah, I have one rubber. Insert joke here. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to put those crappy white ones back on. I think I threw them all out already. Maybe the apron? I don't see it there. I could also try like lifting the play field and see if uh, I hear anything move. I think this is white. White. Oh, these might be the Gottlieb small. These look like the. They have the, got the smaller Gottlieb ones on there. Yeah, I don't even have one of them. Let's see if it would take a full flipper. It, yeah, it's a uh, cathode. It's the smaller Gottlieb red ones. Um, I don't think Titan makes those.
All right, so now we just have to ignore that I lost. Well, let's put this apron back on. Try to find the lost screw that I. <laughs> so these usually have uh, things to slide to on the front. So there's brackets right here that I'm trying to connect to, and then you have to screw them down here. I wonder if this game has cool custom apron cards I can get too. It's like there we go. Can someone search to see if this has like cool apron cards? Let's find that tiny ass screw. You know, somebody must have broke a glass in my house because I keep on finding little chunks of glass. And like normally when I do it, I try to get all the little pieces of glass. But like there's, I'm finding like new pieces every day. Thanks, Kevin. Marcus isn't playing any music.
Alright, let's find that tiny ass screw. This is Journey to Silius, if anybody wants to look up the soundtrack. It's a Nintendo game. So I found that uh, what helps me to find screws when I drop them on the ground, these are pro tips, <laughs> is uh, get down to like eye level and then use a uh, use your, your flashlight app and it will stand out on the floor. Game's good now. I just missing that white piece. That's my only. And then one or two light bulbs. Oh yeah, I gotta remember to do that middle drop target. Not very pro tip. Hey man, that was what works. How about trying to find a tiny little piece that we dropped on the floor from terracotta for? Oh, no, it wasn't the box of bulbs, thank God. It was this box of tools. See why I'm putting something there and not instead of like just doing no spacer is that there's a, there's already a predefined depth here. Um, if I were to just screw into screw it into it, it would go further in the playfield than the original post was. So for right now, I'm just putting a rubber back with a spacer. We still might, yeah, we're still getting to it early. All right, let's uh let's put something else there.
Early electronic tom tomita. Tomita, tomita. Yeah, this is a game I'm gonna start speedrunning here soon. I really like it. And I just got a cart donated to me for a local collector. Sunsoft freaking Nintendo music, man. It's OP. Change this up here. I need a box of washers. <clears throat> I put a washer right here because this probably isn't even a. Uh, I don't know where my mixed parts bin is. Okay, here we go. So, these are all like actual pistol screws. All right, mom. Yeah, I'll check out the. Uh, I'll check out the link uh, after the strum. I think I'm gonna use this big one. It's gonna be ugly. This this washer here too is supposed to I would think was supposed to, was supposed to be holding uh, the plastic down. Because I'm already, I'm already there without them. <laughs> At times. There we go. All right, so let's try to get this underneath. It's music. See if I have one that size. So it's, that size would work just fine. All right, later, mom. Thanks for stopping by, as always. Washers. Here's a, yeah, here's a smaller one. Let's put the 
pretty one forward. Actually. Yeah, that's good. Don't need this big sucker. <laughs> now these post caps that they use on here, they're not threaded. They're just metal. Um, so they screw down, but I mean, really you're just uh, grabbing onto the threads of the uh, screw. So you can put it on there as long as it screws a little bit and then just uh, manually tighten it down. On there a little bit, and then I'm going to re-thread it by screwing it down. Okay. I think all we have is the light bulb. I'll just change it and hope I don't have to fiddle with it. Two of them acting up now. Uh, no, just the middle one. <coughs> this rubber's gross, by the way. It's lost. It's it's it does. It's not doing its job if it has a huge shape like that. Can we get to it? Not really. Oh, sorry. Squeal sound. Uh, 
it's this one right here. So, say we play with this and it doesn't still want to work, um, it might go back to a diode. Uh, I think they use diodes on the. Solder looks good. Let's try cleaning out the socket a little bit. some Gremlins 2 music now. At the worst, you can always change out the socket, but usually you can get the socket working again. Still pretty wiggly. So it looks like when the game's on. See if there's a light test right away. Diagnostics, no? We're hitting the uh, test button on the game. Seems to be more about settings. Now the sound effects want to act up again. That's not cool, game. <laughs> hey, Arctic, how you doing? Uh, maintenance is going well. Um, we were just working on one more light bulb, and now the sound was the sounds acting up. It sounds like again, which was a loose connection. So yeah, to really get these games working 100 percent. You really gotta do, redo all the connectors, and these still look like all the original connectors. So if I were to keep, if I was going to keep this game, I, that's something I would want to do. All right, I don't really care about this light bulb. Let's get the sound working, and then call it a night for now. It's gonna be a big screech when I uh, slide this back in. So Just be prepared. <laughs> Yeah, but now now it's wanting to do the same thing. So what I did was I just so this connector needs to be redone. Look, I'm gonna try cleaning it right now, actually.
16 will be a land test. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm by no means an expert at working on games. I've just had to learn over the years. Now, the guy that, uh, the guy that works on these older games around here, his like magic trick for these is uh, he, he sprays a contact, um, put the contact solution on there and then reseats the connector. So like it's like bridging the contact instead of redoing it. And it works for a while, but a better solution would be to uh, just redo the connector. Yeah, these are like, can't really show that well. But you can see the uh, little bit of the bronzing and stuff on the uh, connector. I'll try to show it. I can't really see the camera that well. Inside here, this pen right here. Oh yeah, you can see it right there easily. This pen's not connected all the way, and it's pushed back. So that's probably what's causing this second pen right here is probably what's causing most of our issues in the sound. So. Try putting it on there. Just making a note. I don't have the uh, the pins to redo this. But yeah, pins are hard to find. Big Daddy. I haven't ordered from them. I've seen them before. Aren't they in the UK or something? I'm in the US. I don't know where you are. Here in Buffalo. You friends of the Buffalo Pinball Dudes?
broken stream. That's fine. USB cam. USB got unhooked. One second. There's still two light sockets that we need to fix. Um, I just wanted to get the game mostly flipping and full sound and whatnot. I wanted that spinner to stop catching the ball. <coughs> yeah, I live in Florida. Short stream of the game working now. Super glare hype. <laughs> so uh, so glary in here. Adjust the camera one second. And that's the things I get. This game has like a, a lot of glare on it, um, and it's just from the uh, the back box uh, translate or back glass. Oh come on! Oh, guys, let's see if I can show what I'm seeing. Okay, are you the one that wanted the play field view, the POV view? I can do one now that it's by myself. You guys see that freaking reflection? How am I supposed to play with that? <laughs> That's like what I'm seeing. That's about where my eyes are. Shoot. 
captive cave. Let's see if I can tell you this thing like in front of me. Well, I guess it's lower. MMPM, Medieval Madness Personal Mix. What is it? I can't see the flippers like this, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> Too. I guess it had, yeah, it kind of had that uh, back glass glare as well. I did out, um, what did I do? I added a tint to the to the uh, to the lights, and that helped with the reduction of the glare. I also put some. I'm not. I'm anti LED most. You hear the freaking smacks on the glass? I'm mostly anti LED, but. That back uh, box runs so hot, I ended out um, switching over to like cheap LEDs, like the Pinball Life uh, Ablaze ones. Fire. Uh, yeah, I'm rocking. There's 44s in the standard. There's 40. You can change it over to 47s, which use less voltage and they're a little uh, less bright. But that's really not going to make that big of a difference. This game is definitely cool, though. I don't like all those freaking glass snacks. That also could <laughs> that also could be the angle that I'm playing at. It might be too flat, or it might be too steep. I've seen games do that uh, as well. Kick out button. So not used to that. Ah! Oh. My dumbass forgot to put a uh, freaking sling on that rubber. <laughs> oh, jeez. Alright, I gotta push this all out again and stuff. And stuff. This one that I have. Can't hear shit. Uh, so my mic died, or is it just that I wasn't talking?
Yeah, CNK, I'm very lucky. That wasn't a freaking overload. That's why I turned the game off. These Gottlieb games can short out easily. Um, I don't think there's any way for me to turn this. See, I can switch to... Now this is not... Now this is like a direct mic as opposed to like an omnidirectional. So this might be a little bit... If this is a little bit louder and better, I can do this. I wanted to change this rubber too. Now that I remember. Better for sure. Better for sure. Yeah, this thing's ugly. Yeah, Evan, you're gonna freak at how, how much you're gonna like this game. Just like look wise, just based on looks alone, with the kind of games that you're into. Oh, I gotta take all this crap off. Do, 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 do. Probably gonna go through the play field. Oh, this rubber's like stuck on the, to the post. I think it's time to change the rubber if it's freaking melted onto it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true, too. Um, yeah, this, I mean, look at this thing. This thing's really jankity. I'm going to order a new flipper uh, probably while the time I have it. Cause it's just it's really freaking janky on there. Hmm. Might even... <clears throat> even hot glue it for now. Not now, but uh, I'll do it tomorrow. Until I get a replacement in. <clears throat> Does anybody other than Steve Young sell these? Flipper parts or flipper bats. I haven't checked Pimbo Life. Normally when you need godly parts, you have to go through Pimbo Resource. This at one time was a Paragon rubber kit, <laughs> but slowly got used before I got to the Paragon. Oh, it should work fine. Okay. So, under that, Let's screw this back down. Make sure I didn't mess with the spinner at all, too. That's still working. Yeah, it's fine.
can adjust that uh, top pump bumper to be more sensitive too. I'll do that at a later date. Once I get the uh, new flipper bat in. Solid business to give to Steve. Yeah. There's one screw that holds the shell. Okay. Pretty sweet sound effects, huh? It's so bad it's good. Yeah, the whole game is like so bad it's good. Oh yeah, I got from the last two. What do you guys think with these older pins? Should they be zoomed out so you can see the so you can see the flipper, uh, the hands near the flippers? I kind of think so, but with these wide bodies, if I were to have it all the way zoomed out like that, the ball, the play field ball, would be a lot smaller. Newspaper? Yeah, newspaper would work. Maybe missing a screw. Uh, it's cracked. Uh, try to show you on the front. See? Pretty gnarly. Now we just need to put up like a game that made it worth the time doing everything.
Yeah, that flipper is definitely throwing the ball up. Pretty dark. I guess it's worth a little bit of glare to be able to light the play field better. Cause it's like, it's almost too dark for me to play without this light. Too dark messes with the exposure time. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm I'm managing all my uh, all of my exposures manually though. Zoom, zoom, yeah. The only problem with uh, using these uh, Logitech cams is that uh, you have to unplug all the cams at one to do the adjustments. And then to plug in the next one, you have to plug it in next and then do all the adjustments and whatnot. So that's a, that's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Balls lit in the middle. So the drop targets are going all the way down on the left side, which caused the ball to jump a little bit. So uh, 
Usually that requires uh, cleaning the drop target and also making sure the tension on the spring is good. Sometimes the spring is completely torn and you have to replace it, but usually you can just clip it and adjust it to make it so it has high tension. Yeah, because right now it's uh, the middle targets were lipped up a little bit. No, it's not ball search. That's some kind of like reward or something. It's uh, it's hitting the the replay like a a knocker against the wood. Whenever I go through this middle right here. Oh, two million. I didn't even see that. Dude, that's way better than uh, we did yesterday. Hate that. Oh! I almost had a brain freeze and didn't activate the kickback. Shoot anything. CNK is right, man. I'm lucky I didn't short something out over there. That that could have caused like a chain reaction. Uh, I don't know what that game that is, Evan. Or 90s. Is that that dance game with all the waifus? Alright, so for to-do list on this game, that sound connector needs to be repaired. Uh, drop target springs or adjustment. A few light sockets uh, need to be played with. And then this left flipper bat needs to be changed. And then I think the game will be 100%. Oh, Oh, the cat collector game, yeah. I don't have a capture device for my iPhone, though. And I don't think that's something I would stream. I normally play it, or would play it, when I'm on the shitter. So, I don't want to. I don't want to see that stream. I don't think anybody else does either. All right, so that upper lock is lit. I can get it there. Uh, see, this is what happened yesterday, too. I don't really think there's a fix for it, either. Maybe just cleaning and waxing that area. Uh, almost a backhand. There we go. Come on. What are you stuck on? Uh, you can just watch the kitty ball for that. Lost one, lost two. Boo. Never got stuck up. Uh, the button got stuck in. Ooh. 
Boom. set the replay low so it automatically gives me credits too. Normally when, when the game's been in a home, people have already done that. Doesn't look like the guy who had this uh, did that though. Pop armor uh, needs to be more made sensitive too. So I'll probably do a stream uh, Wednesday or Thursday with some people over on, on this game. So tune into that. Probably be start around seven or eight. Maybe a little bit later. But the best way to do is, if you haven't already, is to hit that follow and notify when I go live. Uh, I also have my Twitch hooked up to my Twitter, so you can be notified that way as well when I go live. About to hit 500 followers. Hey, snowboarder. Game is mostly working all the way. We fixed the issues we were out to today and found some new ones. I think the left flipper is definitely lifting up the pinball as it, and that's what's causing all the glass hits. Also, if those left, that left pink of drop targets, if that's not going all the way down, that can cause an air ball as well. It acts as basically acts as a ramp for the pinball. Trying. Oh, come on. Bounce over. Ooh! <laughs> I almost did not want to bounce. Shit. There's no ramps? No, this is a this is a 70s Gottlieb. Actually 81. Alright, last game of the night, guys. It's not because I want to stop playing, it's because eventually morning comes, and I am tired. Uh, 
I wonder if there's another light bulb back here that's supposed to be lit. It's kind of a little dark in this little area. I'll have to check tomorrow. Okay, this game's butts. Let's start over. <laughs> Can I do that in this game? No. I don't think I have any credits. Yeah, yeah. I hit it like 10 times. I need to also see if the uh, maximum credit uh, limit, can be, limit can be raised. Usually it's like 40 and not like 25. Last real, last real, last game. <laughs> Those drop targets are staying up high. I didn't even uh, see that yesterday. I don't think it was doing it yesterday. And like I said, that's just cleaning and and uh, the spring adjustment. Who's Jack? Confused with the danger. Sink do you have an extra flipper bat? <laughs> That's ugly that you want to donate to the stream. I really don't need anything else from uh, pinball resource. the uh the freaking sling would kick back all right guys thanks for hanging out so i will be streaming this either wednesday or thursday like i said doing pinball i might do some more maintenance on this before then i don't think so though because the game is basically playable uh but what we have left is change this flipper bat 
Um, we have a light out here, and we need one just here and here. Uh, this top pop bumper needs to be made more sensitive. And we need to redo the sound connector in the back. I think that's everything. And then this game will be 100%. I didn't show the cabinet, too. It's super dope, Buckwheat. Uh, replace a set. Uh, CNK is not my game, so. Um, what I can do is uh, if I do get another one and it's all bright and shiny, I'll put this upper flipper down here. I should probably just do that now. You know what? That's what I'm actually going to do. And then I can tell the owner. Uh, so I'll take this flipper bat right here. Change it out and then put that one up or there. Because that that one doesn't really get used that much. Um, plus it will be the other side. I'll try to make it pretty solid. Um, I'll try to like glue it down or get it get it to like... So that it, it, it's not moving as much as it is. <laughs> and then I'll put it up on top. Um... And then, yeah, give them the option of that. If they want to buy it, they can just ship me the part. Uh, I wanted to show this cabinet. Do you guys get to see how beautiful this cabinet is? Well, not necessarily beautiful, but like kind of like badass-ish. Freaking outside. So, like, evil. It's funny, because I had a Gorgar in my kitchen at my old place. And now I have a doubles there in this kitchen. It's evil. <laughs> All right, let me see if there's anybody streaming. Anybody doing some streaming? Aquas is probably still at it, knowing him. Uh, Macaw's playing. Let's just do him. Let's see. Whenever I try to give people a raid message, they never use it. But if you guys want, just type the devil is watching. <laughs> Thanks, guys.